My name's Anthony Winter. Um, I manage Macquarie Downs, uh, Wagyu breeding, backgrounding, feedlotting, farming operation. We've got about 8,000 hectares of grazing country, uh, about 1,400 hectares of cultivation country that's irrigated in dryland. Um, we raise all Wagyu, so we um, join approximately 700 full blood Wagyu cows a year. They're all registered, uh, DNA'd. Um, we put the progeny through the feedlot here. There's a number of reasons why we would vaccinate for pesty. Um, firstly, abortions. Um, secondly, infertility, temporary infertility. Then you've got, you know, animals that are going to be bad doers once they're born and they're weaned. And then the other big problem is if we start bringing infected animals into the feedlot, they can, they've got the ability to infect other animals through the fence or within their pens. Well, about three years after we got here, we noticed we had about 14 or 15 um, really bad doing wieners. We tested them, um, did their bloods, and we came back, I think it was four, came back as infected. So we just thought, right, we've got to just make sure we've, we've got this spot on. So I think a pesty vaccination program, uh, including on your feedlot entry animals at induction, I think it's a, a good way of guaranteeing that you're going to have a quality, a quality product delivered onto the plate. We generally work on quality, not quantity here. We're not a massive feedlot, we're not a massive operation. And I think it just adds to what we do um, to reputation as quality, not quantity. You've got to approach control of pesty um, with a long-term approach. You're not going to fix it tomorrow. Um, so start, start with the vaccination program. Start with testing your cows because in the long run, you are going to improve your fertility. You are going to get rid of that tail in your weaners. You're going to improve your performance of your animals, which is going to, that's going to you know, obviously um, help you out economically as well.